Welcome to Pinoy Swiss Abroad, another travel blog and entertainment for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe after watching. This is the continuation for our Wellington Travel Series last month, July 2021. Galing po kami sa airport ng Auckland going to Wellington City, the capital of New Zealand. And this is the domestic departures from Auckland Domestic Airport. Finally, we arrive in Wellington and this is the Parliament Library. At ito po ang bihay para po siyang malakanyang sa Pilipinas. If you have been watching my three videos, uh, you probably have seen this street. Yes, and we're still going to the Papa Museum. This is about Gallipoli campaign. You can check my previous video about this. According to New Zealand Geological History, the detailed study of rocks enable us to build a geological history. The present-day shape of New Zealand above sea level is very different to how it looked million years ago. New Zealand is included in the supercontinent called Gondwana Land. Some hundreds of millions of years ago, a supercontinent in the southern hemisphere surrounded by the sea, it includes South America, Africa, Australia, India, and Antarctica, as well as New Zealand. Between 180 million years ago, New Zealand broke away from Gondwana land and its present position. The Tasman Sea was formed, and since that time, New Zealand has its own geological history and developed a unique flora and fauna. There's a lot of volcanic eruptions that time, and it's, that's the reason why it's also formed that uh, New Zealand as it is now. Makikita nyo po sa ilalim ng lupa, ito po yung mga nagbabagang lava. Kiwi bird is our national bird here in New Zealand. Look how big their eggs are. A kiwi bird cannot fly and there are five species of kiwi. Today, lots of dedicated people and groups help to prevent kiwi from becoming extinct. New Zealanders have been called kiwis since the nickname was bestowed by the Australian soldiers in the First World War. And here are the types of birds that can only be found here in New Zealand. Basa-basa lang po para may matutunan. And this pukeko and takahe can only be found even at your backyard here in New Zealand. And yes, New Zealand was once a land of the giants, as you can see. When humans first arrived, New Zealand was a land of a giant flightless birds, seabirds, and insects. Unfortunately, most of them are now extinct, but some remained. And this is the mobile bone and their skeletons. See how huge is that footprint? As you can see here, there are different types of ducks but most of them are now extinct.
And yes, this is the giant moa bird. Unfortunately, they are being hunted down to extinction by the humans and of course the hast eagle. Napakarami pong predators na kumakain sa kanila, kaya naubos po sila. And this type of bird is still living up to now. There are a lot of parrots sa uh, species here in New Zealand. Hindi po siya basta-basta na nakikita nyo sa mga uh, nabebe, nabibili. As you can see, the moths here in New Zealand is really unique and different from others. So many different species on display. Let's watch this little animation of human interaction and MOA. Ayan, may magic pa. I'm just engrossed in with this uh, animation. That's why I included in this video. I hope you like it too and still watching up to this point. And this one, the human interaction with the kiwi bird. Kiwi bird is actually a nocturnal bird. I hope you like this video and learned something from it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Maraming salamat po sa mga umabot sa dulo.